I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how I retouch this image from like this to like this using just micro dodge and bone. So one of my subscribers asked me to make a video on how I use dodge and bone to retouch that skin model and this video is for you. Now the first thing I'll do once this image open inside of Photoshop, I'm going to place my layer by pressing on Ctrl J. So after the my layer, I'm just going to remove the blemishes from this image right here. Remember, this is very important. If you want to use Michael Dodger Bond to retouch your image, make sure you take your time to remove the blemishes from your image. It's very, very, very important. And there are different ways and different methods you can use to remove blemishes from your image. I have a video explaining how you can use more than five ways to remove blemishes from your image. If you want to watch that video, just go to my page and just scroll and look for that video and watch that video. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove the blemishes and I'm going to be using the focus separation method to remove the blemishes. So I just come to my action. I click on this still lens 16 bit focus separation because this image is 16 bit image. I'm going to click on this still lens 16 bit. If I was to retouch this image using focus separation, I'm going to use a radius of about 20 to retouch this image. But I'm not going to be using focus separation to resolve this image. I'm just going to use this to remove the blemishes. So I come to my blur radius. I'm just going to put 20% and click on OK. And since I want to remove all the blemishes from this image, I'm going to come to my high texture copy, which is this first layer right here. I'm going to click on it and pick my close thumb tool. Once I pick my close thumb tool, make sure my mode is on normal. Make sure I'm using a soft hand brush. So make sure your brush, I'm going to take my hardness back to zero. So make sure you're using a soft hand brush, opacity 100, flow 100. Make sure align is checked and make sure sample current layer is selected. It's very important. Make sure sample current layer is selected because if sample current and below or all layer is selected, if I try to remove blemishes for this image, it's not going to work. It's just going to spoil the image as you can see right here. So make sure your sample is on current layer. So once the sample is on current layer, just pick your close thumb to press alternate on your keyboard. Use the square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size according to the blemishes you want to remove. Since I want to remove these blemishes right here, I'm going to decrease my brush size according to the blemishes. Press alternate on your keyboard to sample. Once I press alternate like this, I'm just going to paint over the blemishes like this. Alternate to sample and paint over the blemishes like that. So that's how I'm going to remove blemishes from this image. Okay, now that I've removed the blemishes for this image, let me quickly show you the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. You can see we've cleaned up this image right now. So after removing the blemishes, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to run my Dodger Bond action. And if you want to learn how to create the Dodger Bond action, I have a video for that. Just check my page and you see that video and just watch that video. So I'm just going to come to my Dodger Bond. I'm just going to click on it. I just going to run my Dodger Bond. And what I have inside this Dodger Bond group, I have the Bond, which is the curve right here. So you can see the curve. I just take it down. And this is Dodge. I just put it up to brighten the dark part. And, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a check layer. Let me break it down a little. So what I'm going to do right now, once I run my Dodge Bond action, I just want to uh, fix those parts that are looking too bright. I want to make it a little bit dark. While those parts that are looking too dark, I just want to dodge it to make it look bright a little bit. Just to match the luminosity of the image to make it smooth. I want to make the image smooth using Micro Dodge and Bond. So I'm just going to be brightening the dark pixels and darkening the bright pixels. So let me just quickly um, do that. And before I do that, I'm going to create a check layer. Because if I just look at this image right now, I might not see where to dodge properly and where to bone properly. So it's good to always create a check layer so that you can see where to dodge and where to bone. And I'm going to create a black and white check layer. So I'll come to my adjustment layer, click on black and white check layer, and just take this red down a little bit like this, and take the yellow down a little bit like this. So right now, I can see the dark part of the image and I can see the bright part of the image. So let me just quickly illustrate something. This video is strictly for dodge and bones. I'm going to break it down. So I'm just pick my normal brush tool and um, change my brush color so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see this part right here that are looking dark, like this part right here. I'm just going to brighten them up just to make it match with this existing colors right here, the existing luminosity right there just smoothing it out. You can see this part right here, they're looking dark. So I just want to brighten it to match with this existing color right here, just to make it blend and make it smooth. Also, you can see this part right here, they're looking too bright. 
So I'm just going to darken them a little bit to match the existing darking colors right here. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this micro dodge and bomb. For this micro dodge and bomb, I'll have to zoom in inside so that I can see what I'm doing. So let me just delete this layer. Now, after I create my check layer, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to come to my windows, come to my arrange and open this image layer in a new tab. So I'm going to click on it and just open it in a new tab. So right now we have one image right here and we have another image right here. What I'm going to do next, I'll come to my windows again, click this arrange and click on two up vertical like this. So I'm going to zoom this one inside a little bit like this and I'm going to zoom this other one out a little bit. So everything I do right here, I'm going to be seeing it on this other windows right here. So let me just show you an example. Let me just pick my brush tool and just illustrate it. So if I paint red right here, it's going to show up on this other image. If I paint white right here, it's going to show up on this other image right here. So this window right here is like a screen to enable me to see what I'm doing with this dodge jumper because I'm going to zoom all the way in and I'm going to be seeing the effect on this other screen right here. So um, to do your dodge and bomb, just come back to your dodge and bomb group which you created before. You can see this part right here that looking a little bit dark. I'm just going to brighten them up. So I'll come to the dodge, pick my normal brush tool, take my flow to 1% like that. So my opacity is 100 and make sure you are using a soft round brush. It's very, very important. So make sure your soft round brush is selected and also come to your brush settings and make sure the edges are smooth like this. If your edges are not smooth, make sure they are smooth like this. And I'm going to close these windows, increase my burst size by pressing the square bracket key on my keyboard to increase and decrease the burst size. And I'm just going to paint on this part that are looking dark right here with my white brush because this mask is on black. So make sure your brush is set to white brush. And I'm just going to paint on this dark part right here just to even out the colors right there like that. So anything I'm doing right now is going to be, I'm going to see it on this other window right here so that I can know the image is looking smooth and I know where to stop. It's just like a guide for me. So I'm going to paint on this dark part like that. And this part right here, they're looking too bright. I'm going to come to my bone and I'm just going to burn this part right here just to make it match the existing color right there. That's what I'm trying to do. So you can zoom all the way in because it's micro dodge and burn. I'm just going to paint on this part. And remember to increase and decrease your brush size according to where you are going to retouch. This part right here is very, very effective. It takes a lot of time. That is the only downside of it, but it gives the best results. So let me just paint this image and you can see, if I show you the before and after, you can see we've made a lot of progress to this image right here. So let me show you the before and after so you can see we've made a little bit of progress. So this is the before and this is the after, the before and the after. And if I turn this, my black and white check layer off, we are going to see the effect right now. So this is the before. You can see those parts right here are looking too dark and um, this is the after. We're trying to just match the luminosity of those areas like that. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing for the whole of this image. Let me just do a um, typical example again for you guys to see. So I'll come to the cheek right here. I'm going to pick my dodge tool. I'm going to dodge this part right here under the eyes that are looking too dark, as you can see. I'm just going to dodge them a little bit just to make it match the luminosity color of that particular place right there. Okay. Now you can see this part right here that looking too bright. I'm going to come to my bone and I'm just going to burn this part right here that's looking too bright. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing and do the same thing right here. Do the same thing right here. And I'm going to burn this part right here. This part are looking too bright. I'm just going to burn it right here. And you can see, I'm seeing what I'm doing right here. So I know where to dodge and where to burn. I can see the um, image right here. So just um, look at both images so you can see where to dodge and where to burn. Okay. And I feel I should dodge this part a little bit. So this part right here needs a little bit of dodging. I'm just going to dodge it. And also this part right here needs a little bit of burning. So I'm just going to burn this part right here. So I'm seeing it from this image right here, obviously. So I know where to dodge and where to burn. You don't just get it on your first try. It takes a lot of practice. I mean, when I started learning photography, I was running away from dodge and burn. I want to lie, I was running away from it. It was very difficult for me to understand Michael Dodge and Bond, but I learned and right now I think I'm still learning and I'm getting better. So this part right that I look too bright, I'm just going to come to my bone and just darken it a little bit like this. And this part right here I look too dark, I'll come to my dodge and just dodge it a little bit 
just to make it match the existing colors right there so that's what i'm trying to do come back to my burn burn this part and just burn this part right here and this part here are looking too dark so i'm going to come to my dodge and just dodge it a little bit so i'm looking at this image right here for reference so i can see what i'm doing all right let me quickly show you the before and after of what we just did so you can get the idea of what i'm trying to do i'll turn off my black and white layer and let me just zoom in so you just look at this one right here so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so you can see how the image is looking right now it's looking kind of smooth so the before and after also looking at this place right here i feel i look it too dark so i come to my dodge tool pick my normal brush tool and just dodge this part right here like this so basically this is how you do your micro dodge and bone the only downside is that it takes a lot of time to do it but basically this is how you do it so what i'm going to do next i'm just going to come down to this part right here i feel this part looking too bright so i come to my burn tool i'm just going to burn it a little bit so make sure you take your time to do this micro dodge and burn i'm going to take my time to do it but i just want to show you the basics on how it works so look at this part right here you can see this part right here is looking dark i'm going to come to my dodge tool i'm just going to dodge this part right here just to brighten it up like this also dodge this part right here so if you are a beginner this is how you do your micro dodge and burn so let me just show you the before and after of what we just did and i'm going to be doing this for the whole of the image so let me turn off my black and white layer on so you can see so this is the before dodge and burn after dodge and burn before and after so if you look at this part right here you can see they are looking even right now the before and after the before and after and what you should know is that make sure you are decreasing and increasing your brush size according to the part you are painting on and make sure you are zooming in just look at this other screen right here to see how you are doing like the full view of what you are doing if you are doing a good job or you are just messing the image up and also make sure you take your time to really do your micro dodge and burn so that you can get the best results if you just swatch it it's not going to look good but if you want to retouch your image using the micro dodge and burn and focus your push on you can just swatch this process it doesn't really matter so just glance through it and you're going to fix it using the focus portion but since i'm going to be touching this image strictly by micro dodge and burn i'm going to take my time to actually touch this image okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to just close this window and show you guys the before and after so you can see what we've done so far so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after the before and the after so just take your time to do your micro dodge and burn right now next i'm going to do for this image i'm just going to fix the eyes and teeth i'm going to make the eyes and teeth white so to do that i already have action for that i cut my action click on my eyes and teeth white me action like this and i'm going to cut my brush, normal brush to take my flow back to 100 percent and just paint on the white part of the eyes and also the black part of the eyes like this and i'll do the same thing for the teeth and i'm just going to come to my properties right here just feather it and reduce the opacity just a little bit so i'm gonna do my global dodge and burn for this image so i come to my touch in academy and just click on dodge and burn and it's going to just do the dodge and burn action for me we have the same thing we have our dodge and we have our burn i come to my dodge i'm just going to pick my normal brush to make sure opacity set 100 flow set 100 make sure i'm using a white brush and just draw a line on the highlights like this any part i feel there is highlights i'm just going to draw a line like that and also i come to the burn and for the burn i'm going to draw lines like this for the shadows area like that i'll go to my properties and just come to this feather and just feather it like this until i feel it's looking good so i think it now works for me and also I'll do the same thing for dodge i'll come to the dodge layer and um, also come to properties and just feather it like this as well so let's quickly see the before and after so this is the before and this is after the before and the after so we've done our global dodge and bone for this image the final thing i'm going to do i'm just going to color grade this image and to color grade this image i'm just going to use my selective color to color grade this image so what i'm going to do i'll come to my adjustment layer click on selective color because the skin tool consists of yellows and red i'll just come to my reds right here just take it towards the cyan side like this because i want that melanin skin tone so i take it towards the cyan side like this and also i'm going to take away yellows for the red so i'm going to click on the yellows and just take it towards the side and take this black inside to add a little of contrast to the reds like this and i'll do the same thing for the yellows i'll come to my yellows 
and just take the yellows towards this cyan side like this and also remove yellows from the yellows and push the blacks inside like this i'll count my adjustment layer i'll count my hue and saturation and just come pick this two right here and just click on the reds and just decrease the saturation of the reds like this and also i'll do the same thing for the yellows and just decrease the saturation of the yellows a little bit like this now what i'm going to do i'm going to add contrast to this image so i'll come to my levels adjustment layer i'm just going to push this black side in like this and push this white side in like this so let me just group everything so you can see the before and after of where we started from and where we are right now so this is where we started from and this is where we are right now this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so this is how you can use micro dodge and bond to retouch your image and make sure you take your time when doing this it's very very important to take your time what i do to retouch my image most of the time i do micro dodge and bond and focus separation to retouch my image so i use both method to retouch my image and if you want to learn how to use both micro dodge and bond and focus separation to retouch your image make sure to click on this video right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative